Here is an example of a patient who has mitral valve prolapse with two scallops involved. This is P1, this is P2, and probably the remaining part of the posterior leaflet is also involved. We can nicely see the origin of the jet exactly from these two scallops which are prolapsing. And what we are able to do with the help of special reconstruction techniques where we track not only the annulus but also the anterior and the posterior leaflet, we're able to reconstruct the valve and perform measurements. For example, the anterior posterior diameter or the circumference we are also able to color encode the valve so that we see which portion of the valve is actually out of plane. So red would then mean prolapsing structures. Also a nice way of just taking one image, giving it to the surgeon and tell him, listen, this is the problem with the valve. So this form of calculation is something that is now being more and more applied in the 3D systems. We do not yet know how these measurements really play a role in clinical practice, but I'm sure as time goes along, there will be a number of studies which will use these measurements to really make clinical decisions. So here again is another way of looking at it. Uh, often uh, what you can do is you can also look at the aortic uh, diameter and the aortic annulus, an important uh, way of maybe deciding which size of uh, prosthesis you want to use in TAVI patients, for example, and also how the interaction between the anterior leaflet and the aortic valve is, for example. Just another way of displaying this a patient with a posterior prolapse here in red and the remaining part of the leaflets are in blue. You have a very nice way of also naming the structure. So it's very easy for us to understand these images and also to communicate them with the surgeon.